Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next tutorial of MongoDB. In this tutorial, guys, I'll be talking about aggregation. In the previous video of aggregation, I just have introduced what is aggregation, but in this video, I'll be implementing the same aggregate function in the MongoDB. So, guys, uh, for this video, I'll just be covering two operators. Uh, first is match, second is project. So, before we start with this implementation, uh, I have just prepared one little uh, file text file in which i'm just comparing the operators of sql and mongodb like uh, like today i'll be covering up only two operators so you'll be finding it quite similar to the sql like project operator equivalent of select in sql we all know that select is used for selecting the columns right so we will do the same thing with project then we have a match available which is equivalent of where and we all know that where clause is used to filter out the contents in sql in the relational databases then we have limit which is equivalent of limit in mongodb group by we all know uh, we use it for aggregation uh, then we have group available order by for sorting which is equivalent of sort in mongodb uh, sum equivalent of sum in mongodb so join is equivalent of lookup in mongodb so the reason why i have shown this to you so that you'll be finding a lot of similarity uh, and you'll be finding it easy to understand as you can easily relate with the SQL. So let's start with this. Uh, I've already have opened up my Mongo shell and the database which is which I'm working uh, inside. It is test database and I'll be covering up. Uh, I'll be uh, covering up today's topic uh, on the on the collection name which is student. Student. Let me show you the contents of student. So we have this contents of the student collection in which I'm having these fields available student name section marks and subject okay these are the fields on which i'll be working on so let's start with the first uh, operator first function we have it is called match guys match as i've already have said it's similar to the where in sql in sql we use where to filter the data and same is here if we need to pass only a subset of our data in the next stage of aggregation pipeline then we use match uh, and match filters the data and pass the matching data into the next stage of pipeline. So now let's see how we can make use of match here. I'll be demonstrating with the help of one example. Suppose we want to filter data based upon section A in the student collection, then we will use match. So I've already have shown you that we have uh, fields available in, in which one of the field is section. Let's suppose I want to find the records correspond to section A. So let's see how we can make use of that. Guys, uh, the function which I'll be using here, it is it will be it is called as aggregate function. All right. So how to use this aggregate function? I've already although I've already have shared the syntax in the previous video, I'll be putting up the link of that video as well. DB dot collection name dot aggregate. All right. Now let's uh, define that uh, match here match is nothing but uh, i've already have said it is equivalent of where in sql so let's define match and after this we need to define their condition also so the condition is section a section a okay so this is my condition that's it we are done all right let's close all the brackets which are opened so guys we got three records correspond to section a right you can see we got section a here everywhere so guys this is the example of match operator right so let's suppose if i need to uh, do one more thing here I also want to like include those records. Uh, uh, one more condition that I want the all the records where section is A and marks is greater than 80. You can see, although we know from here, we can easily see that only one record will qualify this condition. But let's see how we can make use of it, right? So the uh, this time around, the condition will be section A and marks greater than 80. So on this video uh, on this the same con on the same query i'll be adding up the things here we need to use the and because we have a two conditions to satisfy section 
okay let me remove it so that there will be no confusion of the condition so first of all section a and second condition is marks which is greater than 80 for greater than we use gt as we all know in mongodb as the comparison operator gt colon 80 so let me now add up all the brackets so guys uh, we got one result as expected uh, with the condition that uh, the marks greater than 80 and section is a okay this is how we can make use of match let's apply second uh, operator which is project which is equivalent of select now i want to select few columns okay if we talk about in the terms of sql i just want to select few fields here for this i'll be using project so same uh, syntax as of the as of match we just have to replace match with uh, project right so db dot aggregate dot student dot aggregate so this time around it will be project fixed with the dollar sign that we all know project colon let's suppose i want to include three fields in my result okay so i need to write one against it one means we need to include in our result student name colon one comma section colon one and marks colon one i still i'm again saying this thing in the project we use one or true if we need to include the field okay so done so let's end up this you can see i'm just getting now three things okay instead of four student name section and marks all right there's no subject available so it's not got included so this is called project operator all right this is how we can make use of project which is equivalent of select operator of your sql so we can do one more thing before we end up this video uh, let's try to include both things together okay uh, so here this is my match condition okay so here i want to now include uh, the student name i want to now find out the student name section and marks from the student collection where section is a and here i'll be using both project and match so till this point the condition will be same okay and here i need to put the second uh, stage of my pipeline which is project colon so the student name one section one so i'm including both things together okay marks one okay so it is ended this bracket has been ended that's it so guys we have now successfully find out those student names okay section and marks whose section is a right so we have included both the project and match operator together so guys this marks the end of this video rest of the operators i'll be covering up in the upcoming videos kindly comment on this video and please provide me the feedback that how you find this video right thanks for watching guys see you in next video